what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? According to a new book published on Wednesday by Michael Wolf, Donald Trump, your president, and his whole presidential campaign team was horrified when they found out that Donald Trump indeed had became the president of the United States of America. The book also says that Donald Trump Jr. said that his father looked like he had saw a ghost when they said that he was, he was the president. This makes a lot of sense to me because when I saw Donald Trump speak to Obama in the White House, if you go back and look at those that video of him speaking to Obama, Google it, during the transition, he looked like he saw a ghost. He was spooked. Like, he had that look on his face like, damn, you know, like, what the hell have I got myself into? That's the way he looked. Now, some of you might say something like along the lines of, well, if he didn't want to become president, he didn't think he was going to become president. Why did he cheat? Let me tell you something. This is what happened with Trump. This is what I truly believe. I believe that Donald Trump ran for president not because he thought he was going to win. He liked the hype behind it. He was going to use that whole campaign and all of the publicity so that he could start other businesses, you know, to increase his platform. Because with, even if he hadn't became president, he was going to make millions of dollars afterwards, <clears throat> just like Sarah Palin and the, and the other losers who did uh, before him. Uh, you know, you run for president or you become a vice president candidate and, you know, all of a sudden your light just gets very, very bright and everybody now knows who you are. And you can take off and make all kind of money after that. I mean, you know, look at Ben Carson and people like that. I mean, even though he had money before, he got a lot more now because everybody knows who he is now. So there's a lot of money to be made if you run for president, even if you don't get all the way there, even if you just end up in, the, in that last six and you just running in the primaries, not even the general, just the primaries, and you just one of the last six people, man, a lot of P, you're going to get a whole lot of PR. A lot of people become to know who you are. And so it's a lot of money in that. And I think Donald Trump was basically using the whole presidential uh, landscape as a platform to increase his own platform. You know, it, for him, I think it was a, it was a reality. It was a political reality show for him. That's what I believe. So they say that Melania cried, but she ain't the only one cried that night. And she ain't the only one still crying. Cause you know, she's still crying, right? You know she can't stand living with that dude. You know, you can look at her. I never seen, you can look in her eyes. I've never really looked at her and saw happiness. I can look at a woman and tell when a woman is happy. I'm really good at that. That woman is not happy. She don't even have a light in her eyes. Whatever she have, it's, it's, it's very dark. If, look at her. She all over the place. Google her. It doesn't matter what the occasion is. It doesn't matter if they're feeding the homeless, if she's at a ball, if they're out on the, the lawn, the White House lawn, just walking the dog, whatever. The woman just looks like she's miserable. She looks very, very sad. And could you blame? I mean, it's very hard to be around Donald Trump, I would presume, because he is the devil walking planet Earth. The dude is a horrible human being, very horrible human being, and she has to lay up with her. Now, here's the thing. Can't give her a pass because 
she's enabling him. See, throughout history, women have already played, always played a role in the wickedness that men do. You know, you got to think. First and foremost, it's women who bear these wicked ass men. It's women who raise them. So somewhere down the line, that woman, if you raise a wicked mother, there's something you ain't do. You did not do right. If you raised a wicked person, you know, along the lines, it's something that you didn't do right in most cases. Of course, there was always that exception where you're going to have a kid that just have all the love in the world and everything done right. And he just want to be a rebel and he want to uh, he want to be a mass murderer, serial killer. It, it happens. But in most cases, the way you're conditioned is the way you're going to be. And I do believe Don, Donald Trump was conditioned to be evil. You know, his daddy was a raging bigot. His mama fed that raging bigot. She sexed that raging bigot and and raised a, had another a new baby, had babies from that raging bigot and raised raging bigots. You see? So Melania, she didn't had a baby. She laid up and procreated with a raging bigot, a, a racist, and she got to eat that. She don't, she don't get off the hook for that. You know, like if, if these women had zero interest in these type of dudes, I don't even think that dudes would be as, I don't think the world would be as corrupt as it is. But these women enable these evil dudes to, to do what they do. So I can't give her a pass. You know, she's just as evil for laying up with an evil motherfucker. Bannon was Donald Trump's top advisor. So he also drops out. He was like, hey man, you know, Trump, he had no idea that he would win and he was terrified. He was totally terrified of becoming president of the United States. And they also said that a week before the election, he had already resigned to being the loser in the election. He just did had no idea that he could win. Like, and he shouldn't have won, you know, based on what the criteria is for a job like that. He should not have won. He's 1,000%, mil, a billion percent unqualified. He should not have won. He's, he's dumb. You know, he, he doesn't have any tact. He's classless. The dude is a bigot. He's a separatist. He's totally unqualified to lead, you know, it, it lead any productive society. He's totally unqualified to lead. But here we are. So, hey, man, you get what you get. So they say that he didn't want to become president because he was totally, he felt totally unqualified. He knew he was unqualified to be, become president. But he ran anyway because he was trying to get that shine. So he wasn't acting like a president. He wasn't acting uh, as a uh, president during the campaign trail, when he was on the campaign trail. And he's not acting like a president now. He's very consistent. Dude spent two years on the campaign trail getting his PR up shining, jumping out there, making people think, giving people just, just building up this, this hate wall. That's what he did. I mean, he did it, man. Like, and the country pretty much fell for it hook, line, and sinker. I knew it was a lot of racists in America. I just... I just gave America a little bit more credit. I just didn't think it was that many. I mean, they're, it, they're out there and they don't, and let's get something straight. They're not just the uneducated. They're not just the rural America, middle America. They cover all demographics. Now it may be more of a concentration in rural America of them and in these trailer park communities and stuff like that, you know, middle America, but man, it's a lot of them. 
Here's how it went down. Trump ran for president as a publicity stunt. He wanted to shine so that he could make more money, possibly in television. He loves being seen. He loves hearing his name. He loves people patting him on his back. Hell, he pats himself on the back more than anybody does. Never seen that before. But that's how it went. That's how it started. And then as he went deeper, he reconnected with his Russian connections. And they were like, we can help you. You have a problem. We can help. And this is what we're going to need. So he sold America out for Russia to fix the election. That's how it went down. Anybody else tell you any different, don't believe them. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.